Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a little different. I'm gonna be sharing with you some things that you can purchase for $1 to help you prep. I am at Aldi today and I'm gonna just take you through the store as I'm walking through and tell you for $1, you can purchase this. Now, they'll probably add up to be lots of dollars, but I'm just going to focus on if you only had $1 for this week to do a stock up or a prep, to buy one prep, what could you buy? So, um, yep, I'm in Aldi, just started my regular grocery shopping. You'll see that video later. But I thought, hey, grab your camera and show the people what they could buy for $1. Guys, so here's something that is very important as far as cleaning, sanitizing. This is white vinegar, distilled white vinegar, 32 ounces for 75 cents. So for one dollar, you could buy one 32 ounce white distilled vinegar. You could also pick up any of their salad dressings if you like salad dressing for 89 cents. They also have the fit and active ones for 89 cents. If you were gonna pick up just one item, you could actually pick up Kosher Dill Spears for 89 cents. Their ranch packets, you could get two of these for $1. So two of these for $1, one of these for $1. You could get salad dressing for $1. You could get distilled vinegar, 32 ounces for a dollar. You could also get the apple cider vinegar for 99 cents or $1 would get you apple cider vinegar. Alrighty, okay. For $1, you could get a can of tuna fish in oil or you could get the um, sustainably caught pole and lime chunk tuna for 95 cents or 68 cents for this can that is in water. Going back to what I could buy for $1, sardines. These are in soybean oil. If that's something that you're into, you could get a can, 3.75 ounces for 89 cents or $1. If you wanted to go over, just buy a nickel you could get this tuna with crackers, 105, or you could get this tuna in the pouch for 85 cents. Also, they have the No Bean Brookdale's Original Chili, 105, if you went over by a nickel. Sloppy Joe, the sauce for Sloppy Joe, 79 cents. So what could you get for a dollar? There it is. All right, as far as meat is concerned, if you do Vaina sausages, these are 41 cents, or you could get two of these for 82 cents. So $1 could get you two Vaini sausage from Aldi. You could also get the um, Fit and Active Cream of Mushroom Soup. So $1 would get you two cans of Cream of Mushroom Soup. It would also get you two cans of the Chef's Cupboard Cream of Chicken. It would only get you one can of the Campbell's uh, Cream of Chicken Soup, but it's still $1 or 94 cents. And it would also get you two cans of Cream of Mushroom and two cans of Tomato or one can of the Campbell's brand for $1. Moving down further, if you were looking for this onion soup mix, you could get one of these for 55 cents. So with just $1, you could get two packages of this soup mix. It's two included in this pack. This is a great deal. This is just on, um, this is for all these savers, chicken broth, and that is 32 ounces as well. So today, for $1, you could get chicken broth. It's normally $1.19, but it is on a sale right now. So for $1, you could get chicken broth. All right, $1 will get you a can of spaghetti meatball. 
for 59 cents or you could get the beefy mac you could also get roasted mashed potatoes the chef's covered brand would be 69 cents so you could pick up one of those if you were just getting one extra or you could get the Ahonian Atahone one pack for 99 cents. All right, going back to what can I get for one dollar? You could get a box of the Chef's Cupboard Chicken Stuffing Mix for 69 cents. This could make a great. Um, crock pot meal I think I've seen Kimmy make a crock pot meal with this before but if you just have one dollar extra you could pick up a box of stuffing they seem to be all out of this but it's the chef's cupboard um, Italian or panko breadcrumbs for 89 cents this goes over here that's not a part of that but still if you only had one dollar you could pick up one of these extra so for one extra dollar um, you could actually pick up uh, this Parmesan cheese with this pasta entrees. It's like it looks like angel hair pasta with a sauce included for 89 cents. And then they have their um, tricolor pasta rotini penne or rotini for 75 cents. So you could pick up pasta for a dollar. You could also pick up their um, traditional sauce, marinara or onion and garlic pasta sauce. It's a little higher in carbs than I would buy. The Walmart brand is a little bit lower, but their meat sauce is also 85 cents. Oh, that's way higher than Walmart. Walmart is 88 cents and it's a little bit lower in carb. But if you're not watching carbs and you only have a dollar and you're shopping Aldi, you can pick, pick up marinara sauce. I'm looking up here, this Simply Nature Organic, um, this is Costa. That is 100% orga organic durum wheat semolina pasta. Spaghetti or linguine today on sale for 99 cents, regular 105. So if you only had a dollar, you could get pasta. All right, back over here on this side, you could get the Berman's ketchup. This is 38 ounces, if you're not concerned about carbs, for 99 cents. Or you could get the Berman's barbecue sauce for 85 cents. Their Dijon mustard is 89, or their regular mustard is 46 cents. So you could actually get two of those if you only had $1. You could get their mandarin oranges, one can for 79 cents. You could get their peaches for 95 cents, so one can of those. You could get their Harvest Sweet Crushed Pineapple for 75 cents. Whole cranberries, 89 cents for cranberry sauce, or jelly cranberry sauce is 89. So if you only had $1, you could pick up pineapple slices. They don't eat it. For 89 cents, one can. You could get fruit cocktail, one can. One can of sliced pears. Then you'll eat the pizza that I get, or you get nothing. You could do two cans of sliced beets. They're on a special today for 49 cents. So you could get two cans of the beets. You could also get this um, red gold chili starter for 85 cents. Peas are 38, so I could get two cans of peas. I would get one chili starter for $1. Carrots, I would get two carrots for a dollar. Or green beans. Looks like they have taken off the limits. So this might be a game changer as far as grocery shopping is concerned because up until right now, they had limits on all their veggies. Hmm. Okay, going back. Um, this is Casa Mamita 
diced tomatoes with green chilies. You could get two uh, cans of that for a dollar. Okay, you could also get refried beans. One can of those for 69 cents if you only had a dollar. You could get two cans of the stem, mushroom stem in pieces for one dollar. Two cans of whole potatoes for one dollar. You could get two cans of the Har Happy Harvest tomato paste for one dollar. Or you could get four cans of the tomato sauce for one dollar. So again, remember, if you only have one dollar extra in your budget, um, these harvest fire roasted diced tomatoes are 92 cents. That would be these. So you could get one can of those, or you could get the larger can of the crushed tomatoes for 79 cents. You could also get two of the stewed tomatoes that would be 90 cents. So if you only had $1, you could get a couple of things. Walking by, this is Earthly Grains Couscous, 95 cents, or $1 could get you one box of couscous. And they have original roasted garlic and olive oil. So a couple different varieties there. All right, here's another. Um, good deal. All the, the Baker's Corner uh, light brown sugar, 32 ounces for 95 cents. That's a markdown from 129. So one dollar could get you one 32 ounce bag of light brown sugar. It could also get you 32 ounces of this powdered or confectioner sugar because that's marked down to 95 cents. So again, if you only had one dollar, what could you buy to add to your preps? Here's a good one. You're only gonna be able to get one of these with a dollar, but it is some evaporated milk. And see, they still do have limit. So limit two of those, but they're 65 cents. Okay. They're all out of this, but the canned pumpkin, you can get one can of pumpkin for a dollar or you could get active dry yeast, or you could get um, baking powder, or two baking sodas. You could get one cornstarch. You could get two jellos or two puddings for one dollar. Another dollar find, the Jiffy Cornbread, if you got Two of these, if you had just one dollar, you could get two Jiffy cornbreads to put in your pantry. For just one extra dollar, you could get steak seasoning, crushed red pepper, parsley flakes, paprika, oregano, onion powder, minced onions, lemon pepper seasoning. So any of their seasonings here, you could get for one extra dollar if you just had one dollar. Here's another find as I'm walking down. They have um, Casa Mamita's salsa, mild salsa. So you could pick up one extra jar and this is 24 ounces, which is a big one for only 95 cents. So if all you had was one dollar, you would be doing really well to pick this one up. And then also they have this um, pasta salad kit. Not this, that was 79 cents. But this pasta salad kit, ranch or bacon or classic, so a couple options, 79 cents. So if you only had $1 today, you could pick up one extra. And if you had $5 a month, you could pick up five of these or two of these and one of those, or you could mix and match a couple of the things that we've already seen so far. Alrighty, if you're looking to be a little bit more organic, they have this summer is inside organic tomato paste for 72 cents. You could get one of those. Uh, Chef's Cupboard Noodle Soup Mix, 89 cents. Has two packages, two envelopes in here 
You could get that for one dollar. Like for meatloaf or azu, you could get two of those for one dollar. Alrighty, you guys. So I hope you were able to get some good um, tips from that shopping at Aldi, just showing you kind of what you could buy for a dollar. Um, I'm going to sit down and kind of just go through some notes and maybe just kind of give you my thoughts on if I had a dollar, what I would buy. Um, anyway, I'm going to sit down, get out my notebook and just kind of make some potential notes because I'm doing a stock up haul this next little bit, next couple of days. And I mean, it's going to be great. I'm, I'm living my best life. So anywho, hang on for that little bit of footage and we'll sit down and have a chit chat. Alrighty, you guys. So I just came back to just kind of sit down and kind of debrief that Aldi trip. Um, I know a lot of people are like me, watching your pennies, watching your budget, trying to figure out how you can feed your family and how to stock up. Um, I know that a lot of people are doing it now and some people are feeling like, man, I just can't. You know, I can't stock up. I can't feed my family. Well, that's really not true. If you look at it from the perspective like I did on the video, if I only have $1, $1 today, what can I get? And so that gives you the ability to slowly stock. And I know people seem like they're frantic and they're trying to get it all, get it all, get it all. Listen, we're going to still keep moving along. Life is still going to keep moving along. We're still going to be able to go to the grocery stores. It's just how it is going to be. Um, I'm not saying things might not get a little tight and we might not revisit some of the times when stuff was hard to find in the grocery stores. I mean, that is a very real possibility. But being afraid and just being so afraid that you, you know, go outside of your budget or you spend other monies trying to do what everybody else is doing. I don't think that is a smart way to tackle it. What I feel like should happen is every time we grocery shop, even if your budget is $40, pull back a dollar. Say I have 39 today. $1 can get you, um, I know at Walmart, you can get three, I think it's three pounds of pasta. It might be two pounds, might be for a dollar. But three pounds of pasta, I think I know you can get it for less than two dollars. And three pounds of pasta is a lot of pasta. If you divide that up depending on your family. So again, for me, I'm looking at what can I do with one dollar. I shop every week, four to five weeks in a month, depending on the month. If I do four dollars, I could have gotten easily um, an extra uh, marinara sauce. I could have gotten pasta. I could have got mushrooms. I could have even gotten a couple cans of green beans or whichever uh, veggie that I really liked. And if you think about it like that, I would have been able to get at least one full meal over the month. Well, Shakima, that's not a lot. No, it's not. But you're already getting your regular groceries. That's considered extra. It's more than what you would be using because you're already getting your regular grocery shop. Um, definitely, you could have gotten five boxes of pasta if you didn't want to look at it as one meal. I'll just get one meal extra. I'm going to get five boxes of pasta, depending on your family, um, even for the 79 cent pasta. So 80 cent times five is $4. You still have another dollar left and you can get two cans of a veggie or you could get two cans of the cream soup. So we can do the veggies. I mean, we could do the pasta with the cream soup, adding a little bit of, you know, water to stretch it out or heavy cream or whatever you have. And then maybe you have some at-home veggies. Um, I didn't look at meats because traditionally meats are a little bit more expensive. I only looked at the things that were a um, dollar or less. Tuna noodles. If you wanted to get one can of or two cans of tuna and three things of pasta, the rotini, um, or the penne, and then two cans of peas. You've got a couple tuna noodle dishes that you can make. Um, what else did I see? That was really good. The um, sardines. You could do sardines, and on the side, you could do veggies, or you could kind of do it like a stir fry. If you have rice already at home, chop up the sardines, stir it together, throw in some mushrooms, um, 
or some of the cream soup. It really, you know, you have some, what do I wanna say? You have some options, some possibilities. The panko breading, if you wanted to take that and took a couple cans of tuna, say you did a couple cans of tuna for the month, you could make tuna patties and just, you know, bread it like that, tuna patties. You could have easily done uh, mashed potato bowls with just mashed potatoes and veggies. You didn't even need to, need to have meat to include, or you could have made it loaded uh, mashed potatoes. You could have done a couple of the gravy packets and did mashed potatoes and gravy. You could even do um, the ranch packet and make ranch potatoes. Or you could take the potato flakes and make up the mashed potatoes, add an egg, and then you could have potato pancakes. So there are ways that you can stock your pantry one dollar at a time without you know unnecessarily breaking your budget. Um, I know I was watching one of Kimmy's videos from her her latest one about the three month pantry, and she was saying if you just take thirty dollars per person um, for the month. Well, my grocery budget is $250, between $200 and $250. An extra hundred, an extra $30 per person for my family is $90. So that would put me over $300. I don't have that in my budget. I don't have an extra $30, but can I pull out an extra $5? Or could I take my grocery budget down $5 less and I have five, 10, $15 I could do some good damage at Aldi with $15. So it's really not about having the money to prep. It's about having a different mindset on prepping. How can I afford this with what I'm already working with? And again, um, I was in one of my groups today and there was a, a post that says, I have way too much food in my house. We don't even eat some of this stuff and I can't, um, I have issues giving it away. And I said, well, if you feel overwhelmed, the, the answer to overwhelm is to get rid of it. If you're not going to eat it and it's just sitting there and you're shopping continually, you need to get rid of it. What about changing your mindset instead of saying, I'm getting rid of the food, but donating it to a pantry so that somebody who doesn't have food or is on a hard time or without a job, whatever the case may be, they may be able to reap the benefits of your letting go of stuff you don't even use. So it's about mindsets everything about groceries and whatever things we do. It's our mindset. And I know some people say, well, Shkima, you always shop. Yeah, I do. I grew up without having food. I used to have to walk what is the equivalent of across town. Think about where you live and wherever across town is. I used to walk, have to walk from my neighborhood to my grandmother's house. As a little girl, I was probably about seven years old walking across town in Brooklyn because my mother wouldn't have any food and I'd have to go to my grandmother's house to eat. So I know what it's like not to have food. Now I don't have um, food security issues because we have food in this house, but I'm gonna provide for my children what they need. And then I stock my pantry because other people call and say, hey Shakima, do you have, or I know somebody who needs. So I'm not just stocking for us. And there's months at a time when we don't have any phone calls like that. But then there are times when we do get phone calls and I'm in there trying to put together a care package or I'm trying to, you know, what do we have? What do we have? And I would give away our stuff, the best things that we have so that somebody else can feel treasured. Because if I just give them a bunch of peas that I don't eat, well, what's the point in that? Um, I remember last year giving away a turkey. I had this family and I knew they were struggling and they had a lot of kids. I wasn't gonna eat that turkey. And it was, I had, I had it was spend as much money, you know, spend $40 and get 29 cent a pound turkey when it was Thanksgiving. And I had had it in there since Thanksgiving because I already had gotten two or three turkeys. I took one, I gave one to our pastors and I cooked one here and then I just had that extra one in. I, I would have cooked it eventually, but that family was needing that. How ridiculous would I have been to just say, well, I don't have nothing. I'm not gonna eat this turkey. And I said to, to the mom, do you want a turkey? And she was like, oh my God, they came over. I remember, cause I was giving away pancake mix and syrup. And they were like, we really need, you know, I was like, I can bring it to you. No, we need it right now. Like they were in a need. And the Lord was speaking to me. It's like, Shakima, you need to 
you know, and I'm trying to figure out what else do I have? What can I give? I didn't have but a few little dollars in my purse. And I was like, let me give this and the turkey. And then I had another big um, 10 pound bag of chicken um, thighs and leg, you know, um, quarters, leg quarters that I hate to clean. I hate to clean them because I got to clean between all them layers and stuff. I know some people don't clean their leg quarters, but I do. And um, I was like, do you need, could you use this? Not do you need it, but could you use this? And she was like, oh my God, that probably fed their family for at least a week, at least a few days. I'm not going to say how long, but at least a few days. And it wasn't something that I needed right at that moment. It was something I could part with. So I'm just here to say, we have to change our thinking about preps, about being prepared. Um, I watched another video today of a, a, a couple that I have recently started watching doing their preps. And I'm my question is, how much money do y'all have? But that's none of my business because they can do whatever they want. I'm going to do mine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. I got an extra bonus money, whatever. Wherever I'm going to find the money from, that's what I'm going to do. So it can be done. You just have to figure out how you can do it. So we don't have an Aldi in our area. No problem. Find your local store that has the cheapest prices and walk up and down the aisles just like I did. And what is less than a dollar? What can I get two for a dollar? Do they have three for a dollar? I know Christine over at Frugal Fit Mom has a discount store. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head, but sometimes she gets things three for a dollar or she'll go to the bread store and she'll get bread, you know, three, four dollars. Throw it in the freezer if you have a freezer. If you don't, no worries. You know, get the things that you can afford just so you have a little bit of food security in knowing that you can afford to feed your family. Um, we may be on the brink of having a harder time at the grocery store. That's no problem. We're going to just scale back, do what we can. Maybe we'll have a couple meatless meals. No, it's okay. Um, that soup that I saw, those soup packets, you can throw in that in your crock pot. Throw it in some water if you have some old chicken, some uh, frozen chicken stock that you did from uh, chicken bones. Throw in a couple of, um, throw in a can of tomatoes and throw in a thing of pasta. You have a nice hearty um, chicken noodle soup that is without the chicken. Chicken flavor, get the bouillons, do those types of things. Um, so I was very fortunate to see that the limits are off now because I'm planning to stock up at Aldi here not too long from now. So I was glad to see that the limits were not there on the things that had been before. Um, but anyway, I hope that that was helpful. Um, I just thought, hey, let me just see what I can find. Again, sometimes you have to be a little crafty. You have to be maneuvering. Um, eggs were 68 cents. You could get eggs, um, one carton at least, and get one every time. At least you have that. You could freeze your eggs. If you're not, I think Jay Morrell did a video on freezing eggs. So you could freeze the eggs. You could get a couple packages, you know, like one a week and freeze them. Have them, have them ahead. So there are ways to feed your family. You just have to figure out what they are and what works in your area. Not everybody has every store. I'm going to go in Food Line very soon and see what I can buy for $1. And then I'm going to head into Harris Teeter and see what I can buy for $1. If all I have is $1 this week, what can I purchase? So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope it was helpful to someone. I hope you're encouraged that even if you're on a fixed income, a small budget, a tight budget, you are watching your pennies. It is going to be okay. We can do this. We really can do this. You know, I have every confidence. I had somebody tell me last night, I know I was trying to finish up this video that they say, oh, I always shop in bulk. I got 24 boxes of something because it was on a 95 cent sale. And I was thinking that's good for you, but that's half my budget for the week. I can't buy it like that. So I'm going to have to do it one dollar at a time one box at a time does that mean i go to the store a little more often i go once a week that's my quota that's what i do that's what works within my budget and the constraints of my time and so it works out for me so no worries no worries no worries in jesus name so anywho there it is you guys hope it was helpful if you like it thumb it up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us share it if you think it's shareable we love you guys and we'll see you next time
Daniel.